Well, hello there. Happy Jesus to you and welcome to the new year. Yes, it's that time of year again. The time that we celebrate Santa's birthday with those that we know and love. If you are religious, I respect and understand that Christmas for you is all about the birth of Jesus Christ. But if you're like me and you couldn't name the 12 apostles if you tried, there's Matthew... John? Paul... Ringer? Yoko... No, hang on, she wasn't invited. <laughs> For people like me, Christmas is all about appreciation and spending time with friends and family. There are, however, a couple of things that seem to pop up every year that no matter how hard or how often I try, I just can't like them. No, I'm not talking about family, I'm not talking about shonky gifts. Like that heavily discounted CD that you wouldn't even use as a coaster. No, I'm talking about things that pop up at Christmas dinners. And these are the crappy jokes in Christmas bonbons. What do you call a crate of ducks? A box of quackers. <laughs> Where's the joke? It doesn't even have a joke. Is that the joke? What kind of cough medicine does Dracula take? Coffin medicine. No matter how drunk I am, they're just not funny. Licorice, all sorts. Who invited them anyway? Nobody likes them. Nobody even brought the packet. Yet every year there's a bowl of them that just appears out of nowhere. Every year I give one a go, hoping it's not gonna taste like a retreaded tire. But every year they still go ahead and taste like shit. The last few things I'd like to draw your attention to are all derived from the same family. These are Christmas cake. I'm sorry, all you're doing here is renaming something and expecting me to be excited by it. We can all do that. Hey kids, it's a Big Mac. Here, Merry Christmas, I got you an iPhone. Christmas cake is just fruitcake renamed. Let's not pretend it's anything else. This one is exceedingly merry. What is that, wax? In the same family as Christmas cake is Christmas pudding. Not only could this kill a man, but the truth of the matter is that at least 80% of people who eat Christmas pudding on Christmas Day don't like it. They're just being polite when you ask. Would anyone like some Christmas pudding? No. Nobody wants Christmas pudding. You can easily tell who these people are. The strategy is to drown it in something else to mask the taste, mash it up, play around with it for 10 minutes, then push it all to one side to make it look like you've actually eaten something. I can hear a couple of people right now saying, but I love Christmas pudding. Firstly, no you don't. Secondly, you're over 65, aren't you? And the defense rests. And to those people who make their own puddings, please stop putting stuff in my food. Maybe before the war, finding that sixpence you hid in the pudding was seen as lucky. But let me tell you, that coin isn't even coming close to covering the cost of the dental bill I cop from damaging myself on all the random bits of crap that you put inside a pudding. Coins, thimbles, anchors, what's that about? I don't want to have to file occupational health and safety reports on Christmas. Where do we draw the limit? I mean, hell, why stop there? Some wiring. Oh look, an old fashioned iron. How'd that get in there? Bit of broken glass there. Some heavily discounted CD you wouldn't even use as a co-star. <laughs> Lastly, we have no proof that God exists, but we do have proof that the devil exists because he made mince pies. And what could possibly be worse than a mince pie? Gluten bloody free mince pies. I think in order to be gluten free they contain sawdust and peel. Why? So every year in the spirit of Christmas I try these things hoping that they've changed. But once again, they disappoint. Leave a comment if you've got any additional items to add to that list and I'll be sure to serve them up to my loved ones next year. So from me and mine to you and yours, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. May it be filled with love, laughter, health, happiness, mystery, music. Okay, maybe not that.